<laughs> it apparently it was over. <laughs> oh, you ruined this is over. <laughs> Sorry about the last ending, that was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, you do, and this is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Let's see. Talk about her. Yeah. What's up, Lily? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all? I mean... It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Her savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. We'll find out eventually. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Mind as well. It's the na nature of life. There isn't nothing to hide. Okay. Well, I guess there's no more questions. <laughs> oh! Was there something you wanted to ask? No, I wanted to leave. What can I leave? I wanna leave! <laughs> oh, hey! What now? <laughs> oh. Before John fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get a chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Even though we didn't do anything? <laughs> Okay, let's see how Neil's doing now. Neil, yeah, aren't you gonna give the phone now? <laughs> oh, there we go. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Uh-oh. <laughs> beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. 
which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his, his desire for it to work. And what, <clears throat> now what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only got a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we f What? Oh, and That's even if you. we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Back to square one. Mm. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. <clears throat> Forgot my cough. Beta blocker. Let's see, what's the beta blocker? A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> it smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva. It smells! I know. It's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. <laughs> Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, really. his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he is still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. 
Alright, and next time we'll find out what happens.